Welcome to Purchase Reviews. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the rollers on your sliding door. First, you'll have to remove the door, so just lift up and pull out. These doors can be heavy, so you may need an extra pair of hands to help. Now place the door down carefully, preferably on some carpet for protection. Let's have a look at the problem. You can see that the tracking wheel has worn down, which is the reason why the door is unable to slide efficiently. To remove the old roller, you can wedge a screwdriver underneath, or just adjust the top screw until you're able to pull it out. Take note of how you removed the old roller, so that you can put the new one back in the same way. Sliding door rollers are not universal, so you'll have to do an internet search. Type in sliding door rollers, then go to images, and hopefully your part will show up and you can purchase from there. While waiting for your parts to arrive, put the old roller and door back into place so that you can still use it in the meantime. Place your new part in the same way you took out the old one. You will need to position the roller flush with the bottom of the door to reinstall, so grab your screwdriver to adjust accordingly. Now clean out any dust and grime from the tracking plate. I've made another in-depth video on how to fix jam sliding doors, so feel free to check that one out too. Lubricate the tracking plate and your new rollers with some silicon spray. And now you're ready to reinstall the door. Use a spirit level to make sure that the door is sitting evenly on the tracking plate. Otherwise the door may not shut or be able to be locked properly. You can adjust the height of the door by loosening or tightening the rollers with a screwdriver. I hope that this video has helped you replace your rollers and save some money. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos and reviews, that'd be much appreciated. Until next time, thanks for visiting Purchase Reviews and happy rolling.